Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I thought we would just catch up. I feel like it's been a hot minute and it has since I last vlogged, since I did a life update or any sort of update on my channel. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know what's been going on. You're more up to date because I feel like it's easier for me to post on there. But you would think no vlogs means I haven't vlogged at all and that's just not true. So today I have just like a lot of things to show you, just a, a big recap of the past month of my life and just all the things. So hopefully you guys like this because it's, it's gonna happen anyway. So I actually wanted to start off with my office because this is where we are right now. As you all know, if you've been watching my channel, we renovated our garage and we turned that into our master bedroom, which means it freed up one bedroom upstairs. In total, we have four. That meant we needed to switch kind of our whole house layout around. My office is now in the old nursery because we barely used it y'all. Like I used to stress out so much during my pregnancy about when this would be ready and everything needed to be perfect, but we used it so little, it was a waste of space. This was basically Olivia's storage room. So instead we moved her nursery because she's still sleeping with us and I will talk about that in a different video to the old guest bedroom and turned that into her playroom. And it's been so much more convenient and we've been using it so much more and we love it now my office is here because if you'll remember this backdrop it's the background of my videos basically i film here every time i film a video because it has the best lighting i decided to put my office up here and make it like office slash filming room so let me show you around so my office is still pretty much the same the only thing that i changed was some of the shelving decorations and also i added an extension from ikea to make it taller so it looked more like built-ins but i'm planning on adding something on top and at the bottom to actually make it look like a built-in and then I have a desk coming from CB2, but it has been extremely delayed. We'll see when that happens. So this desk won't be here and the desk that I got fits perfectly right in between both shelves, but it's not finished yet. And then as you all know, the whole upstairs is this ugly gray carpet. So we changed the flooring. However, because of my filming and even like Zoom meetings and things like that, there was like a lot of echo in here because of the wooden floors. So I added my old rug. Rug. This rug is really really big too big for this room. So eventually I will get a like rug Maybe this exact same one because I love it and it's very affordable just like in a smaller size And then we had two different bench options for our bedroom So I ended up keeping this one because it has storage right here. This bench is from Amazon, but it has been sold out so I'm sorry, I'll link it though um, if it ever comes back in stock. That way, whatever I need to film can go in there and the room won't look as messy. So it just makes a lot more sense. So in case you can't hear the fun noises going on, um, our laundry room is still being finished, which is why I have yet to share like the before and after transformation. Also, in case anyone's wondering, this is the state of my house right now. So I'm doing well. Doing very, very well. We are finally removing these cabinets and they're going into the laundry room so that's why i'm choosing paint because y'all know how i feel about gray okay so you might be thinking feel everything okay no i will explain first i want to show you this wall so this is where the cabinets used to be they would drive me actually nuts the layout made no sense they like looked like a tv console but the tv was supposed to be here but then there's also a mount for the tv right there and also there i don't want to talk about it this house the people that renovated it they're weirdos but anyway the point is Oh my god, my couch looks green. The point is, it freed up so much space, it looks so much more clean. The problem is, my living room is a mess right now. Because, I'm being a terrible vlogger right now, we added some recess lighting. Biggest fan of recess lighting in here. Um, I'm adding some to my office too. He had to open up a ton of holes, as you can see, because he was moving the wires through. But now that they are all put there, um he will come back and just paint it over do the texture thing i'm just so excited y'all these are the ones that i get and i get them from amazon um our garage has them now our living room 
Also, these are the ones that we use in the laundry room because they used to be super dark in there and they will be going in my office. I'll link them down below just in case any of you are into this, but they are so nice. I get the brightest ones just because this house is so freaking dark and for video purposes, y'all, this is amazing. It's literally like nine o'clock and I could film a video right here. Could have never done that before. So, I also don't know if I told y'all about the fireplace that my mom painted it one day. There's <laughs> a lot of things going on in this house. Anyway, so my living room's gonna be a hot mess for a hot minute um, until he like is able to paint that because I don't want to move things around just to like make it messy again. And what else? Oh, we are starting on the kitchen. Oh wait, can y'all vote on this? I might have to do a poll on my Instagram. But I would have to explain it. I would just rather do it here. So we have this nook in our living room. It's literally like front entrance living room, right? And it has these doors to kind of conceal what's in it. And as per usual, the hardware doesn't line up because the holes aren't straight. But I digress. And it's the exact same color countertop situation as the kitchen and as the ones that were previously here but we usually keep our coffee here right um we have like the mug holder and then the nespresso the ice machine all that and the syrups and whatever but i keep telling dante that it might be best to just add a coffee corner to our new kitchen rather than keep this here because it kind of makes no sense to have a coffee corner in the living room when your kitchen is like all the way over here so you would have to like grab the milk come back whatever it's not a big deal we've been doing it for a year and a half but what do y'all think should we just remove this maybe turn this into a closet maybe open it up i don't know any suggestions ideas comments concerns it is nice to have it kind of concealed and it's nice for like storage purposes we wouldn't like get rid of the storage we would just move it so let me know what y'all think so i just got our very first bark box in the mail they sent this to me and i'm so excited to open it with the dog since they're all here okay so there's a theme and it's called madagascar unleash and it's so cute i'm so excited olivia is having a hard time understanding that this is not for her ah! But see, look, a little toy for Baldi. Oh my goodness, Skippy. You want the toy? It's a little monkey. Oh, it's called Mora Mora Mouse Lemur. A little excited, boys. Okay, I need to take up the tag. Hold on. <laughs> Bolana Iwana. So that's something else. Skippy, as you can see, is losing his mind, and Olivia wants it so badly. A little toy for the puppy. So we have two, and then we have another one. We also have three dogs, as y'all know. This one is a little froggy. It's called Tiana. Oh, Skippy stole one. <laughs> Tiana Tomato Frog. Okay, Skippy. Wait. Loosing their minds. Okay. Then we have treats. Ooh. Ooh. Food motivated boy is here. Pork stick recipes. Plucky yummies. Chicken with sweet potato. <laughs> Olivia clearly wants some. I know. This is for the puppies though. Here we have Oinky Jerky Bars. Okay, enough torture. Let's try these. They're like the perfect size for like small dogs. Here you go. And for Skippy, I always have to cut it up because you know, he has no teeth. Come on, Benny. Come on, baby pun. Look at Skippy. Come on, baby bread. Here, come here, Benny. She loves finding little spots to hide, but she will eat it. She loves food. Good girl, Penny. Okay, well, this was very successful and they deserve it for being the best big brothers too. Our baby girl who really wants a toy. Do you want a bark box as well? Imagine if there was one for kids. I'm sure there is. I'm just anyway. Thank you so much once again to BarkBox for sending this over. This is not sponsored, they just send it to me. But I wanted to show y'all if you also have pups. I feel like this is such a nice little treat to get every single month. So I'll go ahead and link them down below. And if I have some sort of discount code, it won't be affiliate or anything. 
but I'll also link that down below if you'll want to try it out. I feel like I don't give them as much attention. I try my best, so I feel like this would be a fun treat every single month to like unbox with them and just like spend a little time treating them, you know? So thank you to BarkBox. This was super fun. That is what's been going on with that. Olivia turned six months old, which is really crazy. I cannot believe it's been half a year since she was born. I cannot believe it's been half a year since she I was pregnant. It's really bittersweet to see her grow so much. Just looking at her old pictures and it's just super crazy to me that like she has turned into this full-on baby that wants to crawl and wants to grab the dogs and just like is so active and mobile now she just moves and crawls and i'm just like how do you get there you know what i mean so that's been really exciting and then the other Thing that happened this month was the cops breaking into our house if you don't follow me on instagram you might be kind of shook i'm gonna add the clips of me telling y'all a few weeks ago one night we woke up to six cops in our house and it was really scary and it was really really crazy we were still sleeping upstairs that day and i had set the alarm for the house we were all asleep in our upstairs bedroom and it was like the three dogs olivia my baby and my husband and i and we were all asleep it was 2 18 in the morning my husband wakes up first because one of our dogs wouldn't stop barking he usually does this when he hears people coming in or noise outside so after like a few attempts to get him to shut up my husband gets up opens the door and like just goes to the top of the stairs and when he looks down there's six police officers inside our house they are yelling you know hpd put your hands up um show some id do you have a, a firearm and then our dog he is just very special and he wouldn't stop barking so when the cops like my husband puts his hands up at that point i was asleep but when i hear a strange man's voice in our house at two in the morning i immediately get up and grab the baby so when he goes to get down to grab bolt because the officer said so bolt just like sprints downstairs and like my husband was like please don't shoot the dog like they were like control this dog like blah blah he's like a 10 pound pomeranian you know so i wake up the cops are like you'll need to come downstairs they're still downstairs by the way and we come downstairs you know i'm holding the baby with our hands up and it's just so scary and just we're so confused you know while my husband is getting some idea i'm like can you please explain what's going on because i'm thinking of the worst like it's never good when cops, like so many cops are in your house at two in the morning and they just like are in your house, you know? It's not like they knock at the door. So, so many things were going through my mind and it ended up being that our front door swung open and the alarm was on, thank God. So the alarm company alerted Houston, like the police department and our neighborhood's police department and it was, just really scary but i guess there were so many because they all got the call and they were expecting a home invasion <laughs> and as you all know our house is going through renovation so our house looked like a mess so they were fully expecting this to be way more than it was and it was just like a little family <laughs> like that just woke up and was like what's going on so um, they were laughing when they left. I guess they were really expecting it to be really intense and it was just us, thank God. But it was a crazy experience because, you know, just waking up to the sound of another, like a stranger's voice in your house in the middle of the night when you have a five month old baby and you have no idea what's going on. Or then you go downstairs and you see so many cops in your house and you're like, what are you gonna tell me right now? How do you get in here? But thank God everything was fine. Uh, we figured out the door situation. It was just like a combination of the wind and the lock and all that, but you know, it could have been so much worse everything was fine thank god and i'm just really grateful that it didn't escalate further than that that nothing happened that we actually set the alarm because imagine like sleeping with our front door wide open all night just so many things could have gone wrong and i'm really grateful for our security system and just all the things so but that is how we started this month and that is <laughs> just like a little tidbit of how crazy everything has been so y'all those are all the updates that i can think about like i said you should expect very soon the reno video just part one of what we want to do we have way more plans like i said the kitchen um the flooring want to 
of course at our master bathroom and our master closet downstairs like in addition to the garage we're moving our back porch so i'm very excited to share this whole like experience with you all and what we've learned and all all the things because obviously we are very inexperienced when it comes to this stuff but it's been really fun you know getting y'all's feedback on instagram and seeing like what y'all like and any tips and advice and all that good stuff so i'm super super excited to keep sharing these things with y'all one of my main goals this year was to vlog more so i feel like i need to get back on it and even if the vlogs are like very chaotic and messy as they usually are um to still post them because they're always fun to look at so let me know what y'all think um but yeah that is everything i have for y'all today thank you guys for being here for watching for your dms for your comments for everything i'm extremely grateful for y'all i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys very soon